guys, it's Giselle. Thank you for joining me today. Today's project share is a journal slash December daily slash December planner. Uh, and maybe you can just use it as a book to keep notes. Um, but I wanted to share what it was that I made and the materials that I used. Um, I'm going to show you the journal at the end of the video. But this is the paper pad that I use. I did use um, some of this paper. And um, I do have a stack of materials that when you're making a junk journal or a December daily, it doesn't have to be all of these things. Um, you can make it simple where it just has pages in it or you can use what you have um, because it doesn't take very much to make a December daily. Um, some people use it from the 1st of December, maybe to the 25th. Um, and some people use it all the way up until the end of December. It's your choice. But I just wanted to share what I used um, in making the one I'm going to show you. Um, I got these tags from Hobby Lobby. So I used um, one of those. I got this... Uh, um, what do you call this? Um, cards from Michaels. So it comes with envelopes. I use this to make a tag. I did get this the other day at Aunt Michaels. I thought it was a pretty um, vintage looking um, shopping list. I did use a sheet of that. Um, I also used some of these doilies that I got from the Dollar Tree last year. Um, I did pick up this little tiny notepad um, from a thrift store. Probably paid 25 cents for it or it probably came in a bundle with some cards. Um, I did use a couple of these stickers that I bought at a thrift store. I, I think this came from Hobby Lobby. Um, but I bought it last year in a thrift store. Um, I did use a page of this holiday word search and then we'll talk about that one later. Um, and I did use some stickers um, from various... Uh, Sticker books from um, Michaels. Um, this is Say Freeze, the sticker book. And this is the new one, Peppermint Stripe. I did use something from there. And even some of these um, Happy Planner ones. I got this one on clearance at um, Walmart. Um, and I did use some of that as well. Um, and it's just a hot podge of different materials. You can use whatever you want to use in your journal or your daily, your December daily. Um, I did use some of these tags that um, I got from the Dollar Tree. I got these, I think, this year. And these I got last year. And I think I used one of these. I did use a page from this um, um, music book. It's very vintage. Um, use a page of that. I did use some of this computer paper I got at the craft store for 50 cents. And it has an antique looking uh, Santa Claus on there. Um, and some of them I did use some of this parchment paper that I got at the thrift store as well. And some of this granite paper. This is really beautiful paper. Um, that I got at the thrift store it doesn't have a price on it um and some of them I did use this line paper that had a uh, graph paper on the back as well so as far as the materials I used this punch I did use some of this ribbon from Hobby Lobby um I did use some of my collection of washi tape, um, all different kinds of Christmas washi tape, and here's all the glitter and foil. Um, I did use this dye that I got from Amazon. Um, it has a bow in it. I believe I got these trees from Michaels last year. I couldn't find the packaging. I think this is the packaging, but I'm not sure. I used this stamp and this tree as well, and you'll see that in the book. I did use these Christmas trees um, from Tim Holtz, 
And I did use these uh, dies from Tattered Lace. Um, and you'll see that in the book, how I use that to make a tuck spot. Um, I used this die, and it's what it is. It's a, it's a corner tuck. I couldn't find the packaging. It's from this company here called Fun Stampers Journey. Um, I bought it at a stamp show. Um, and you'll see that one in the book as well. And every one of my journals always gets a mason jar because I love mason jars. So the cover of my journal is very unique. Um, journal slash December daily. Um, and this is what I use to make the cover of my December daily. I use the packaging of an old VHS tape. Um, and basically how it goes um, is I take them apart, of course, and I have quite a few because I do get them at the thrift store. And I cut the top off and I cut off one side here. And this is what they look like inside. Um, and we're gonna get into that later. But here's my collection. I, I got this old one. I thought this would be great for a crafty friend, maybe. Um, this is Carol Duvall. And I started out my crafting madness with this lady right here. She used to have a TV show on ABC called Home The Home Show. Oh, I used to live just to watch that show. Um, but I have different ones. I have The White Christmas and Rudolph. And I get all of these... Um, at the thrift store it's a wonderful life and this one is kind of beat up um i do have another one i'm going to show you in a minute um but who doesn't love how the grinch stole christmas it's a classic so this would be a cute kind of vintagey um journal um here is the journal do i show you the journal first yeah let me show you the journal first this is the journal or the um December daily that I made um, and it's kind of chunky a little bit I'm the queen of chunky when it comes to making journals I just love making ephemera um, just love tucking things in it I go to so many thrift stores and I collect so many nice things I just want to stuff them all in the journal um, and then they wind up kind of chunky but um, I did make this um, Elastic band to hold the book close um, from the ribbon that I got on clearance at uh, Hobby Lobby. Um, and when you open the December Daily, this is what it looks like. Um, this is some of the stickers that I used from... Um, let me put a little light on that. Um, one of the sticker books. I did stamp this so that you know that that's your book. I'll put that in there. Um, this is the circle die. Remember I said I used that circle die? And basically I put the circle on there and cut it off. Um, and there's that little bow we talked about. Um, and this is a Christmas card that all I did was stitch it. I just stitched around it. So that gets tucked in there. Um, and on this page, all I did was put a piece of scrap paper right here. And added a bow so you have all your journaling space here. This is coffee dyed paper that I did edge with a Martha Stewart punch. Um, and this is a sheet of that word find book. Um, and I always put one of these in every single journal that I make. Whether it's a Christmas word find or just a regular word find. The reason for that is because my mother um, who passed away... Um, about 25 years ago, she used to do, <coughs> excuse me, word finds every day. And in the margins of the book, she would put the date that she did it and she would write down what she was feeling or what happened during the day. Um, and I have several of her word find books that, um, to me, they're journals because she wrote the date and she wrote what she was doing, what she did, and how she was feeling. Um, my mother passed away from cancer, and right up until the time she passed away, she was still doing um, 
her word finds and um some of them were kind of sad some of those entries so i always include one in my journals um this is that piece of paper that i told you that i got from a kind of i think i got it in a card pack but i think i bought that card pack because it had this little note paper in it i did put this little die cut in there and this is that that corner uh, tuck that I was telling you I couldn't find the cover for um, but I love this um, corner tuck I absolutely love it here's on um, the Dollar Tree's um, doily I did use some of the washi tape here trying to keep the bulk down in the book because if you put too much it gets too bulky this is that page that computer paper that has the Santa on the other side this is one of those stickers that I did use um and here's the shopping list the one i just recently got from um michael's and this this is a vintage ledger paper um i got that at a thrift store and this paper is very very thick it's the real deal um and of course some of this the paper from the paper pack um this is as well as a this is a christmas card and i just cut the card off and put a hole in it and made a tag out of it that I stuck in this tuck spot that I made from the circle and I just added a sticker so that gets tucked in there as well here's the other doily some more coffee dye paper another sticker from the sticker book um, some vintage paper and you can add photos here if you like here's some more washi tape I think that washi tape is so cute. I love the little chunky little chubby little snowman. Um, this is a coffee dyed oval doily that I got from Michaels. Um, and this is the little uh, tags that I got from the Dollar Tree. And this is a piece of the scrapbook paper. This little pocket that I made is a page from my magazine. And the magazine was very shiny. Um, and I put uh, gel medium on it to, to bring down the shine so you don't see it shining any, any more like a magazine. Um, so I did that and I did stitch that, that pocket. This is that page from that antique music book. Um, and it's the middle of the signature. And I did make this um, bookmark. Um, I was inspired by Natasha from Treasure Books. And I'm going to link her channel below. Um, but I did make this one. I think it's beautiful. This came from my stash. Um, and these beads that I used for it are some of those beads from Hobby Lobby, um, that I got on clearance last year. So I just put one on the top and one dangling from this reef. So that's your bookmark. <clears throat> Here's another one of those stickers and some washi tape. Um, some more... Of the coffee dye doily here's some of those tags I got from the Dollar Tree and this is just a piece of scrap paper that I just folded you can journal on that and just tuck it in there um, and this little snippet here was made from a circle punch um, and this punch that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby um, and you just punch it out and just kind of layer them there this Santa with this tree was an actual gift tag. Um, and it was kind of um, layered up, but I had to take the layers out because it was making the, the journal too bulky. So I just put that in there. Um, more coffee dyed paper. Uh, the doily. And this is that Tim Holtz um, Christmas tree. Doesn't it look pretty just sitting there by itself? I think it's pretty. Um, and here's your other side of that um, antique ledger paper. And there's that little mason jar from Hobby Lobby. And here's that computer paper that I bought for 50 cents. I think he looks great in this book. Um, I'm hoping I'm keeping it in frame. And this little tuck spot that I made here, um, this is just a tag. It's uh, a tag that I got from the thrift store. And I thought it was so pretty and matched the kind of doily there. 
And this is a recipe that I got from um, a little book that I got from the thrift store. And it's a recipe for oatmeal gingerbread. And I did stitch around it. I backed it with some, some paper on the back. Um, so you could journal on it. And just tuck it in that spot right there. Um, some more coffee dye paper. And here's the, the star of my show, my mason jar. I just love it. Um, where's that dye? Did I show that dye? Yeah, I did. This dye. Um, love this dye. And I got it on clearance at Michael's. Oh, must have been three years ago, four years ago, I think. Um, but I did cut one out, put a bow on it. Um, and this is that, that tree that I stamped it. And then I cut it out with the die cut. So I just made a little tuck spot to put my mason jar. Just love that jar. Um, and the last page here has that on it. And I did include um, a page from the sticker book. It has the days, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to Christmas Day, which is um, the 25th, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. I guess it takes it all the way up until you have to fill in the dates there if you do, if you do decide to use it as um, a December daily all the way up until the 31st. Um, and the last thing I included was this tag that I made um, from that a card pack that had the envelopes. Um, and I did stitch it. I did stitch the uh, ribbon on it as well. Um, and I did ink around the edge of the book because it was very white. Once you cut into the cover, it was very, very white. Um, but that's my little um, December daily or however you would like to use it. I'm going to put this one on Instagram. Um, it is available if you did want to purchase it. Um, this is the first one that I finished. Um, I'm going to show you the ones that I'm working on. Um, and I have a few covers that I did pick out. Um, I do have another one, Miracle on 31st Street. And this one, um, we're going to work on this one tomorrow. Um, and I have some of it cut out, the cover. Um, but I used the Silent Night from Michaels because it is a story about a little girl. And, and this is kind of like pink paper. So I did decide to cut this one out um, in Michael's Silent Night. Um, here's another one I'm going to be working on. It's a Wonderful Life. And it's kind of more of the antique paper just like the other one. Um, so i got to put that one together. Um, I did choose this one. Santa Claus is coming to town. How cute is that? I mean, I did use a little bit more vibrant, bright colors. Um, because, you know, Santa's coming to town with the presents and stuff. So, um, there's that one. And I did make this one bright as well with bright colors. This one is a little bit of a better cover because you do get some that are kind of rough. Um, so we're going to put that one together. Um, there's that. And I have these two white Christmas, um, I actually think that between this one and these, these are my favorites. I haven't finished these yet, but I used a paper pad from, oh, let me get that paper pad. Where is it? Ooh, do I have it yet? I used um, this white Christmas paper pad that I got last year at Michael's. They didn't bring it back, um, well, at least not yet, but... They didn't bring this one back, and I love this paper. Um, so I did cut some of the pages out to go ahead and and do that. I think I'm going to accent it with green, like a very, um, this kind of green, um, and little pops of red. Um, I do have some of these, um, what do you call it, die cuts that I got from... Um, Michaels that I might use on those but I can't wait to finish one of these just because of of the paper look how gorgeous that is but anyway um please come back tomorrow and join me um we are going to be putting together 
I'm going to show you how to do the cover on um, the second um, Miracle on 34th, 34th Street um, and how to reinforce it. And um, not sure if we're going to be able to sew the signatures in tomorrow. So there might be a part two, maybe a part three. I'm not sure. But um, please join me tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed seeing my little creation. Um, and I'm going to be posting a picture of this one on Instagram later today um, for inspiration. And if you decide you want it, just, just let me know. Um, and thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye now.